Clearly, I have some explaining to do. The first thing that I want to do is I want to introduce you to Backroad Exploration's new Overland and 4x4 Touring Adventure vehicle. This is a 2017 Lexus GX 460. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Lexus GX 460s, they are a Toyota Land Cruiser Prado with a Lexus body kit on them. Now, the Prado is not sold in North America, but it's a very popular off-road vehicle in other countries like Australia and Japan and others. They're very capable, and the thing that I like about them is there's a ton of aftermarket support, which is one of the main criteria that I had for my vehicle. Now, for all of my diehard Jeep fans, please hear me out before you unsubscribe and bounce from my channel and leave a hate comment. I need to jump in here real quick, as a few things have changed since I recorded this video. Most importantly, we have decided that we wanna keep the Jeep. I was having a terribly hard time parting ways with it, and after a lot of thought and consideration, we decided it was in our best interest to keep it so that we have two vehicles that are capable of hauling our family around and going on incredible adventures. So while I build out the GX, most of my adventures will be inside the Jeep and then I will be alternating between the two depending on who is coming and where we're going. I wanna tell you, I love Jeeps. If you thought that this was, be I'm changing vehicles here because I don't like Jeeps and I'm gonna become a Jeep hater, that's not this at all. In fact, until about six months ago, my plan was to replace our Jeep with a Jeep Gladiator. In my opinion, the Gladiator is the best overland vehicle in North America. It's insanely capable, it's super nice and comfortable to drive, and because it's a truck and it has a bed, there's just so much you can do to add creature comforts like campers or bed racks with rooftop tents and different things like that. They're incredible vehicles. That's what I was planning on doing next, but we need for our family long term a three row vehicle which eliminated the gladiator from contention for my family which breaks my heart a little bit but i never made this channel about vehicle specific or a brand specific vehicle for a bunch of reasons but mainly because i don't care what vehicle you have i care about adventures i want to go on adventures and i want to share those adventures with you and so if you're a hardcore jeep fan and you've enjoyed my videos you're still going to enjoy my videos you're going to see beautiful remote places in utah and the surrounding states being explored by me and my family and so i really hope that you'll stick around now to kind of get you to how I got here, I wanna share a little bit about my vehicle thought process and philosophy. There's a lot of people who are gonna be saying, hey, you needed more space, why didn't you jump in and buy like a full-size truck or a Ram Power Wagon, something like that. Now, I've never shared these really on my channel before, but I've actually owned three full-size trucks, um, and up until recently I owned two. Um, I have an old 1994 Chevy pickup that I've owned since I was 17. It's never gonna go anywhere, I love that truck. It, it's worth way more to me nostalgia value than it is to anyone else. And it's nice to have to be a little lawn cleanup yard vehicle. Um, for the past couple of years, we've owned a 2008 Chevy pickup. It's been our primary family vehicle. And I really like that truck, but I didn't want to turn it into an off-road and overland vehicle because there's just not a lot of aftermarket support for it. And we wanted the comforts and just the, you know, nice things like running to the grocery store and being able to put things in the back instead of in the bed of the truck and things like that. So we sold that truck and I highly considered buying a Ram Power Wagon. I love the Ram Power Wagon. We test drove several of them. I found one that I really, really liked, but at the end of the day, it was just out of my budget. I'm a regular guy with a regular job and financial constraints are a real thing. And it was $20,000 more than what I spent 
on this Lexus GX460. And so it just was out of our price range. And to find one in the price range that I could afford, put it way higher in mileage than I was comfortable with to be our primary family vehicle. And so I decided we weren't gonna do that. About six months ago, we actually put in a deposit on a Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro, the new style, the 2023s. But as we've gotten closer to those dates, the pricing and stuff has come out for those and it's just, it's way out of our price range. And so, so we've been removed from the list for the Toyota Sequoia because it was just too expensive. They're beautiful, but it just doesn't fit in our price range. That really left me only with a couple of choices because there's not that many vehicles that are third row capable and off-road capable to do the types of things that we want to do. Uh, basically, you have some Toyota 4Runners, you have the GX460, you have the Toyota Land Cruiser 200 series. And so I am not really interested in the Toyota 4Runner. Um, long term, I don't think it's going to suit what we want. And so that kind of was eliminated at the beginning. Um, and then... The 200 series Land Cruiser, they're incredible. I looked really, really hard um, for about six months for a 200 series, and I just couldn't find one in a price range that I liked. I found two that I test drove. I found one that I put in multiple offers with, kind of went back and forth negotiating with the dealership on it, and we just couldn't come to an agreement on price. I really thought we were close. They'd been sitting on it for several months, and and so I... I kind of up my offer a little bit and finally I just got to a point where like this is as much as I can spend and they just couldn't meet with it so um and it was significantly more expensive than this and it was really hard to spend that much money on a vehicle that already had 100,000 miles on it so then I really pivoted and the whole time I'd been watching GX's but the downside of the GX is I was actually hoping for something a little bit bigger it is bigger than the Jeep Wrangler in fact the rear cargo area is 30 percent bigger which is a pretty big increase um, but I was maybe thinking of wanting to get something even bigger than it and the 200 series fits right in that slot, but I couldn't find one in a price that I liked. So I started honing in on the GX's, we test drove several of them, found this one and picked it up for what I consider to be a really good deal considering the current used car market. So it has 40,000 miles on it. We picked it up with 39,000. We've driven several thousand miles on it on a couple of just family vacations and things over the past couple of months. And now it's time to start converting it into an off-road overland 4x4 touring vehicle. That's how we've gotten to this point. Um, I did consider other full-size trucks that weren't the Ram, you know, power wagon. But I don't, I really like the power wagon for a couple of reasons. It has a bunch of things that they, those don't have like front and rear lockers, a solid front axle. Um, and it's really designed for off-road and overlanding. It's basically a Jeep Gladiator on steroids. But the other downside of full-size vehicles is they are just so big. And I've ran into multiple occasions because I've had full-size vehicles and know what they can and can't fit down that I would not be able to go down and do certain adventures and trails in a full-size vehicle. And so the GX is an awesome size. It's bigger than the Wrangler, but not massively bigger. It gives us the third row seating that we're going to need. And it gives us the ability to fit our family in a vehicle. Now, I do intend long-term to add some type of a trailer to our setup. That's been a very hard pill for me to swallow because I'm kind of anti-trailers. It just adds more complexity and things like that, but there just isn't a a good solution that either doesn't include a full a trailer or a full size truck. And so I'm opting to go the trailer route. A lot of my adventures are solo. In those cases, I'm not going to need a trailer, but my wife and the family would like to go on more and more adventures, which I'm all in on. And having some type of a simple off-road trailer that we can put gear in and have a nice base camp set up for exploring is something that I am interested in. Now, I'm looking for recommendations and help in building out this vehicle. I love getting feedback from you. I'm looking, I need to do some type of a lift kit. I need to add new wheels and tires. I'm gonna be adding a roof rack. I'll be adding some interior cargo storage into the back of the GX to kind of help with organization. And then internally, I'll also be looking at anything from basically any type of interior storage that I can. I had the Jeep really dialed. I knew where everything was. I knew where everything was supposed to go and it was just really functional. And right now, to be honest, I feel a little out of sorts. Um, and so I'm going to be building this out and kind of fine tuning the process. And so if you have owned a 4Runner or a Prado or a GX460 and you have experience in building them out, jump in the comments, share your recommendations with me and join me on this journey. I mentioned this earlier, but to me, the most important thing is the adventure. 
and I'm looking forward to sharing all of my adventures with you, including in this vehicle. And I really hope that you'll like, subscribe, and stick around. If you want to follow me on the day-to-day, -day, you can do so on Instagram at Backroad Exploration. Thanks so much for watching.